Okay, so it's today. And today, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the bike. If uh, you watched the last video, which uh, if you haven't seen, you should go back and watch that. And maybe some of the other ones, whatnot, subscribe and all that good stuff. Like, I like that. Um, anyway, the uh, the last video, you can see, get the bike running, start it up, blah, blah, blah. I BS around a little bit about talking how much... You know, I spent basically, you know, $100 for the bike, and then uh, $170 so far, time and chain, cylinder, rings, clutch cable, yada yada, $170 on that stuff. We still need a tire. Um, and then, you know, we got a little bit of a fork seal leak, apparently, since I went up the street and back on it and stuff. That's pretty obvious. I didn't really know that before, but, you know, the fork's really moving up and down too much before. Um... So anyway, um, the video before that last one, which if you haven't seen, you should go back and look at, I was talking about how I got it running and everything, but uh, it was having a problem starting on its own as far as I would have to pour, pour some gas into the cylinder and then blah, blah, and sometimes it would stay running. Most usually it wouldn't. You know, I took the, uh, took the carburetor apart and cleaned the idle. It seemed like the idle jet kept getting clogged, and apparently it was. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm going to tell you about. I mean, I looked around. There's, you know, that's, I, I didn't make any videos about doing the cylinder, the rings, and timing chain. I mean, there's lots of lots of videos out there on that stuff. So the one thing I do want to talk about, which I didn't see, you know, everybody, there's lots of videos on cleaning carburetors and jets and, and how to do all that stuff. But the one thing that I didn't really see anybody talking about, and you know, some I noticed that some some carburetors don't even have this on them. So you know, this is the the same carburetor, and I didn't even get a rebuild kit for it or anything like that. And I was talking about in that last video or two videos ago there that I was gonna get a rebuild kit, but you know, a rebuild kit almost costs as much as a carburetor, so I was just probably gonna get a carburetor. But anyway, what it turns out to be is is this guy here, which. Like I said, on, on a lot of carburetors, and, and I've seen like replacement ones that guys put on bikes or whatever, they don't they don't have this on here, on the replacement one or whatever. I don't, you know, they I think they call it an air something or other. To me, it looks like a uh, an accelerator pump, like what would be on a a car a car's carburetor, you know, like a four barrel or something. You know, they have the accelerator pump. Basically, there's a little diaphragm little diaphragm in there um with a a little pin or rod made onto it um so anyway what i'm getting at is i didn't see anybody talking about this thing at all and obviously it pumps you know it pumps air into the idle jet passageway so what ended up being my problem was i, I went ahead and took this apart and and if you do hold on to the stuff because it's got a pretty strong spring in there um but basically in the bottom of this, when you take this lid off of here, there's a spring and then there's a diaphragm. Under the diaphragm in the bottom of it, down here you can see this This is where the orifice is at, or the little passageway. And uh, it goes to one of them hoses over there. Anyway, there was a bunch of crud in the bottom of this, this accelerator pump or whatever this thing's called. And basically, I think what was happening was it was it was just constantly, you know, either either that little hole because there's a little hole that goes from this to the hose that it's connected to. So either the hole was just a little too clogged up, or it kept sending stuff down to my idle jet and contaminating it. So I mean, basically, once that I cleaned that thing out, my problem was solved. So. I think the first time after I cleaned that out, I went ahead and, and put a little gas in the cylinder just so I knew it would fire on the first kick because I didn't want to be kicking the crud out of it, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, like I said, once I cleaned all the crap out of the bottom of that accelerator pump or whatever that guy is there, it, it was problem solved and I just went and cleaned the idle jet again and I haven't had any problems with it since. So. You know, basically it's been sitting here, and I'll tell you one more thing that I was kind of having an issue with too, and that is make sure that your spark plug wire is not over the top of your throttle cable, because basically when when you put it on here, it's going to pull down, it's going to pull down on your 
it's going to pull down on your accelerator cable and that's going to make the idle basically i was changing my idle all around and it wasn't really affecting it and it's because my spark plug wire had basically the throttle pulled open to where it wanted it so just make sure your your spark plug wire is behind the throttle cable so that your your throttle cable you know is able to move around freely so when you move it down there you know you should be able to see some movement down here when you pull on it up there so it isn't all bound up under that cable so that's the only other thing so anyway you, know, you can see it's it's nice and cold here if anybody's interested I mean mainly it should be I think I have it set on uh, see if I can do this while I hold this camera I think I got it on a half choke maybe and even better I think I have it in gear so you know I won't be able to cheat and use the throttle at all or nothing like that. So yeah, one kick. So it's on half choke. I can't reach down there and unchoke it because I got it in gear and I might be able to. See here. still in gear anyway maybe I should have took it out of gear first so anyway that might be uh, like I said that nobody really talked about that when they were reloading carburetors I guess some of them just didn't have them on there or they would have did it but I did see some people that had them and they just uh, didn't even talk about that thing at all they just took the bowl off and cleaned out the bowl and cleaned out the jets and blew out the passageways and yada yada but uh, that might be one thing if you're if you're having a problem like I was, you know, I cleaned the carburetor several times, and it kept ending up being something with that idle kept getting clogged. So that that guy there, that guy there, make sure make sure you check him out. Make sure you see if there's anything down in the bottom of that, and get that all cleaned out real good, and then then clean out the orifices, and maybe take the hose off and blow through there, and uh, clean out your idle jet again, and you should be good. It worked for me. So, anyway, I guess that's going to be about it. Um, so, until next time, I'll see you then.